In a crazy development, the Patriots are apparently punting on Stephon Gilmore, who's old, yeah, but still one of the best cornerbacks in the National Football League. Adam Schefter, ESPN, go. A stunner, stone cold stunner. Patriots are releasing four-time Pro Bowl cornerback Stephon Gilmore, who is eligible to come off the physically unable to perform list after week six, source tells ESPN. And Gilmore has been on the pup list with a torn quad that ended his 2020 season. And of course, Zimmer treats cornerbacks like Pokemon. He's got to catch them all. But Gilmore will apparently be wanting big money because who, who doesn't? Like, show me one aging used to be elite cornerback who uh, I'll take less I'll take less sure but I, I don't know if he's gonna get it Josina Anderson CBS Sports go my understanding is that Stefan Gilmore who was set to earn 7 million in base salary of the season is looking to earn at least 15 million a year on the open market now there are several teams that could bolster their secondary uh, with attrition already kicking in by week five and he can want 15 million a year all he wants I mean hell I want 15 million a year but it's mid-season most teams have already spent up their cap for this year and he's 31 one coming off a torn quad and his 2020 season was just aight by Stephon Gilmore standards. His 61 PFF grade was the lowest of his Patriots career over the last four years. He allowed two touchdowns and coverage on only 27 targets and a 96.7 quarterback rating when thrown at was the highest of his career. So teams were still shying away from throwing at him because he's still Stephon Gilmore. But when they did, he gave it up just a little bit. Just a little bit. And our friends over at Spot Rack bring up a good point. Uh, Spot Rack, Stephon Gilmore release leaves behind $10.5 million of dead cap on the Patriots, freeing up around $5.8 million. It's telling that New England wasn't able to secure a trade for Gilmore on a one-year $5.8 million remaining contract. So basically, no team was willing to give up a late-round pick, a seventh-rounder, or for 11 games of Stephon Gilmore at $5.8 million. That tells you where the market is as of right meow. That being said, there could still be a trade since the transaction isn't official until 4 p.m. Eastern time. Maybe a team sneaks on in there similar to, you remember P.J. Hall? P.J. Hall, one time. Raiders were going to cut P.J. Hall. Vikings gave up a seventh-round pick, and there's like, ah, no. Ah, no, because he failed the physical, and then he played well for the Texans last year. Not that I'm bitter. Could have used P.J. Hall last year. Whatevs. Now, the Vikings are technically underwater with the cap per spot rack, but that's with Dantzler and Harrison Hand on COVID reserve, and then two other players counting on the 53. But, but either way, they're snug. They're snug up against it. But they could easily make it work if they wanted to, notably restructuring Eric Hendricks and his $12.442 million cap it this year because... Now, I understand the der, der, der. Why spend up for a player who can't play until after week six? The Vikings may be out of it by then. Blah, 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 blah. True, they could be. It is a non-zero chance. I think that the Vikings will be three and three by the bye week, but maybe the Vikings are out of it. They could flip him at the trade deadline at a much more palatable cap number than the $5.8 million. And if you do sign him to a one-year deal and you don't want to extend him long-term, even if he plays great this year, uh, you could be in line for a 2023 compensatory pick if and when he signs somewhere else for decent money in free agency next offseason. So it is a bit of a win-win. And maybe Gilmore is ready to rock and roll and have a career renaissance in the company of veterans like Patrick Peterson, who's played well so far for the Vikings. Harry Harrison Smith, etc. And maybe Gilmore when he's not left on an island against wide receiver ones trailing them all over the field because he's not that dude anymore can bring back that love and feel. And I would take Patrick Peterson and Stephon Gilmore on the outside. Better than Breland. Dancer has played well, but also availability, question mark. Uh, and also, it's Stephon Gilmore. It is. And this makes way more sense than signing Jalon, 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 Jalon. Because Jalon Smith is actually... It's actually bad, and that's not good. But Gilmore, why? He'll probably sign with the Bucks and then go chasing the ring. And blah, 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 blah. we'll see. But this one does make sense. I don't know if the Vikings have the stones, uh, if they have the stomach to actually do it. But I guess we'll see. Never rule anything out with Zimmer and cornerbacks. But your thoughts and our thoughts. Vikings, Stephon Gilmore? Question mark. Let's know in the comment section below. Subscribe for daily Vikings takes. Once put that work, pull a little something in Venmo. But until next time, Skull Production Value.